Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On my TikToks, I do get asked a lot how to become a nail tech, what are the steps that need to be done to be a nail tech, and the best way I can answer that question is through a YouTube video. I'm really thrilled that you guys are already taking the first initiative steps of becoming a nail tech and watching YouTube videos, getting informed, getting a ton of information. When I first started doing nails, there was not one video that I can follow. For the most part, I learned on my own how to be a nail tech and that is why I want to create a video and an environment and a space being my YouTube channel and help you guys reach those dreams and those goals. I am here to be your nail tech big sister and I have written down all of the steps needed to become a nail tech. So all the information that I'm sharing with you guys is information that I learned throughout my journey and my experience. I'm also sharing knowledge that I wish I knew when I first started doing nails. I will be sharing 10 major steps on how to become a nail tech starting from the absolute beginning all the way to the end step number one on becoming a successful nail tech is to have a growth mindset being a nail tech you are going to be receiving new information all the time whether it's techniques whether it's clientele your marketing you guys want to align your mindset with growth you want to have confidence have confidence that you will achieve all your dreams that the path that you are on is the right path that this can be your career not just a hobby have confidence in yourself believe in yourself and tell yourself i am already that instagram nail tech that gets booked up i am already that nail tech with 50,000 followers with steady wealth coming in imagine it you are already there we are just filling from where you are to where you're going to be and we're just closing that gap already surrounding yourself with that nail tech lifestyle watching my youtube video watching even tiktok videos following nail pages read entrepreneurial books your subconscious does not know the difference between reality versus imagination imagine that you already who you want to be you're just waiting for that time to come your time is coming baby take a deep breath you are already that nail tech you will already be successful i also want to add that you need to believe in yourself you not your family not your friends you need to fully believe in your dreams in my case there was a lot of times where i was told this is a hobby i will not get far with this places where i thought i would receive support i did it if you guys are constantly searching for external validation you guys will be searching for a very long time believe in yourself and have confidence if anything i believe in you and i know that you can accomplish what you really put your mind to now that we got all that internalness out of the way the second step of becoming a nail tech is education I'm going to be talking about two different types of education. Number one being receiving your license, going to a nail school or going to a cosmetology school. Let's get into that because I know not a lot of people know the difference. Cosmetology school requires 1,600 hours. In Arizona, where I am at, it varies between each state. You have to take two state board tests and that's how you will receive your license. With your cosmetology license, you can do nails, you can do hair, you can do waxes, you could do a lot more. A nail school, they focus on just nail technology, nail anatomy, just nails. In Arizona, they require 600 hours as well as taking two state board tests and you will receive your license. I know for some, schooling is not a current option because it costs a lot of money. That is the downside, is you will invest a lot. Cosmetology can be up to $25,000, sometimes even more. In Arizona, a nail license, seven dollars to $10,000. I am here to help you guys based on your yearly income there may be some grants available for you guys in short terms to be able to do nails you will need to obtain a license having a license just means that you know how to properly sanitize disinfect your products you know nail diseases you are informed on nail anatomy it does not mean that you can slay a cute ass nail set it just means that you are legally able to do it so that is option number one of education option number two of education is is to go the certification route. A certification is when you complete somebody's course. This is a great option to see if this is truly what you desire and truly what you want to do before dropping a lot more investment into that career. When searching for a certification class, I highly recommend going on Instagram, finding a nail tech that you admire their work and seeing if they offer classes as well as what the class offers, how many days, if it's really worth all that good things. At the moment, I offer group trainings. I absolutely love them. If you guys are 
interested, please DM me. I am located in Tempe, Arizona. Taking a nail class allows you to properly practice techniques, properly practice on people without really doing the whole trial and error YouTube Academy thing, especially if you're a hands-on learner. Most likely, if you guys were to go to school to get your license, most likely you will need to also take a certification class. Just because at a nail school, they mainly teach you the foundation and the basics of everything. It's mainly how to properly really clean you have to trust that these investments into your business and into yourself is just gonna bring more abundance and more wealth back into you that is what you have to do when it comes to a career field like this you have to invest in it before you receive don't get me wrong you guys can definitely learn on your own the best way and free way to learn is here on youtube there are countless of great videos but getting the proper education will definitely help you in your path and you won't have to go through as many trials and errors as I did <laughs> now let's say you already got your education out the way you got a certification or a license and now you're ready for step number three step number three is where you will work when you receive your license you are able to work at any salon any nail salon you can do booth rentals you can do a suite rental you can even do a home studio this is a time to decide what route you're going to go the perks of having your license is that you are able to go straight into a nail salon get that experience customer service experience the downside to working at a salon is that you will not receive the full income that you are earned usually so salons are commission-based. I don't know exactly how much the percentage is simply because I never worked at a nail salon but how commission works for example is you do a $50 nail set you receive $25 and the owner receives $25. I know straight off the bat that sounds not that beneficial but with those $25 that you are giving the owner if they offer marketing you're getting free marketing they handle your bookings they handle all the products that you may need you just need to show up and do the work. So Salons usually hire within family members and it's just really hard to even get a job at a salon you can also do booth rentals booth rentals is when you rent out a table or an area in a salon and you give them a weekly payment it's usually weekly and you are paying for that space at times they can offer product which means you will pay more and if they don't offer product you will pay less a salon suite is when it is a building with a bunch of rooms and and you are able to rent out any size room that you would like usually from the research that i have done it is about 200 to 300 dollars a week for example let's say your rent is 250 dollars that week if you only made 250 dollars from sets you will have to give all your money out the only thing that you have to be considerate about salon suites is that you want to already have consistent clientele you want to get booked you want to have a steady income to know that you are able to afford that the last option is to have a home studio now i never worked at a nail salon i started working from home simply because i didn't plan on creating an entire business on it i simply did it for fun and i just started gaining clientele so the rest of this information is going to be more for individual based nail techs the rest of this next steps is to become your own boss is that type of vibe that's the kind of energy i am leading you guys towards is to be your own individual boss and to not have to respond to any but yourself <laughs> so with that being said the fourth step on becoming a successful nail tech is to pick a name now this is something that I realized by teaching a lot of beginner nail tech is the part that people struggle the most is to pick a name and I understand because it is what defines your business so I understand why that can be a lot of pressure if there's anything I can help with a name is to be personable with your Instagram slash business name Something that can connect a face with a brand, but also says what you do. Slayed by K. Nails and my name. Slayed by K has been my name since the very start. I have not once changed my name and it has become part of my identity. I am Slayed by K. <laughs> once you have created your name and you know that it is your name, you want to claim that name legally and register your business under an LLC. When registering for an LLC, it is really simple. Honestly, it shouldn't take more than an hour to do you can go online and search up LLC for your state search up if the name that you want is available and when it is then you can easily register it the big
biggest tip that I will give you guys is to not go through a third party LLC creator. There's just gonna be a lot more fees and a lot more hassle that you guys have to deal with. Make sure that the website you're going to, it is the only website for your state and it usually ends in .org or .gov just to make sure that it is legit. For my viewers in Arizona, I will be linking down the website to where you can create your LLC down in the description box below. I know it can be a little bit of intimidating, but honestly, it is a quick and easy process that can be done online. I believe when I did it, I paid $70, $75 for my LLC, if I'm not mistaken. But of course, if you guys have any more questions, you guys can also speak to an accountant or somebody that can help small businesses. Once you have your LLC, then you want to apply for the employer identification number, which is the EIN number. Once again, super easy, can be done online. Now, what this number does is that it allows you to file your taxes under that number which then protects your personal assets and as soon as you receive it so many doors open up for you when you have a legal business entity you are qualified for more funding opening a business checking account this can be done by setting an appointment with your bank i bank with chase i set an appointment i went in i told them that i wanted a business account i just had to show my llc and my ein number right away i was able to open a checking account this is really beneficial because it allows for all your money to flow into one account it is just so much easier to keep track of especially when it comes to filing your taxes you can quickly just have access to how much income you made for that year how much you spent start applying to business credit cards the great thing about applying to business credit cards is that the available amount of money is usually higher because business credit knows that businesses need more money to be able to provide things that are necessary to run that business on top of that you are also building your credit which then gives you more access and more money to spend on your business i'm going to do a little side note on this step because now we're talking about buying product and buying things for our business and the biggest advice i can give to beginners is to only buy things that you absolutely need i know that that is really hard because we see all the beautiful art all the charms don't don't focus on indulging too much into products because maybe what's trendy now will not be trendy by the time you have clientele. As a beginner, you won't have the money to be able to invest into your business, which is why only buy the basics. Don't buy a $350 nail lamp when you can buy a $25 one that works just as great on Amazon. The more money you will start receiving, then you will be able to put back into your business. Don't focus on indulging too much into products because maybe what's trendy now will not be trendy by the time you have clientele. A really big tip that I give out with spending, profiting is required deposits. Does not matter if you haven't been doing nails for a long time. Not only does that secure your client coming to the appointment, but let's say she sends an inspo pick or is a color that you do not have. You can then use a deposit, that $10, $15, and purchase what you need. So that way you know that you are not spending too much of your own personal money. There are so many ways that you can market yourself and get your work and your name out there. Number one being is the basic business cards another way you can market yourself is simply word of mouth let's say you guys go to school tell people at your school that you do nails let's say you work in the office space tell people in the office that you do nails that you're looking for people to do nails on another way is you are your own walking billboard do your nails have your nails done so that way when you're at Starbucks and you're getting your drink they compliment your nails you tell them I'm a nail tech I do nails hand them a little business card give them your Instagram name you are your own walking billboard Board. and the best best way to market yourself free marketing is social media you want to create that business instagram account make a tiktok post content you guys being a beginner nail tech is content just because you are not that perfect instagram nail tech yet doesn't mean that you don't have content to post people love to watch something that is personable relatable use that to your advantage post on instagram as if you already have 50,000 followers post on tiktok as if you are already consistently getting millions of views that path is meant for you you're just starting off right now the biggest thing with social media that i can tell you guys is to remain consistent for a long time i actually did not like the social media part of my job because it does require a lot of energy but staying consistent will only bring in more interaction more viewers more followers more likes if you guys don't market yourself you will simply get no work no clientele which means no money step number 10 of becoming a successful
successful nail tech is to practice, practice, practice. I know you want to sit down and watch another episode of your favorite TV show, but the one that is successful will get up, pull out a sheet of paper towels, and practice beads. Even if you're just practicing your shaping, do something every day that requires you stepping into your nail tech future self. The biggest thing I can say is to try to practice on as many real hands as possible. You learn faster and you learn quicker when it is on real human hands. That brings us to the end of my YouTube video. I hope that my video was able to help you guys in any type of way, even if it's a little bit of information you guys were able to get out of this. If there's anything more you guys want me to go more into depth about, please do not hesitate to comment down below. I'm here to help you guys in any way that I can. Also, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My channel has grown so fast, more than I can ever dream about, and I owe so much appreciation to you guys for continuing to watch my videos and support me. Thank you guys so much. Down below, you guys will also be able to find discount codes to a ton of amazing brands that I highly recommend, as well as my Amazon storefront that has a ton of products. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your nail journey through this video. I'm so grateful. I wish you nothing but the best in your path as a nail tech.